Thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles. This is the Combined Volume, 3rd Edition by Foundation for Inner Peace. We are picking up our reading on Chapter 16, The Forgiveness of Illusions, Section 1, True Empathy. The triumph of weakness is not what you would offer to a brother, and yet you recognize no triumph but this. This is not knowledge. In the form of empathy, which would bring this about, is so distorted that it would imprison what it would release. The unredeemed cannot redeem, yet they have a redeemer. Attempt to teach him not. You are the learner, he is the teacher. Do not confuse your role with his, for this will never bring peace to anyone. Offer your empathy to him. For it is his perception and his strength that you would share. And let him offer you his strength and his perception to be shared through you. The meaning of love is lost in any relationship that looks to weakness and hopes to find love there. The power of love, which is its meaning, lies in the strength of God that hovers over it and blesses it silently by enveloping it in healing wings. Gertie wants to say hi. <laughs> Let this be and do not try to substitute your miracle for this. I have said that if a brother asks a foolish thing of you to do it, but be certain that this does not mean to do a foolish thing that would hurt either him or you, for what would hurt one will hurt the other. Foolish requests are foolish merely because they conflict, since they always contain some element of specialness. Only the Holy Spirit recognizes foolish needs as well as real ones, and he will teach you how to meet both without losing either. You will attempt to do this only in secrecy, and you will think that by meeting the needs of one, you do not jeopardize the another, as you keep them separate and secret from each other. That is not the way, for it leads not to life and truth. No needs will long be left unmet if you leave them all to him whose function is to meet them. That is his function and not yours. He will not meet them secretly, for he sh would share everything you give through him. That is why he gives it. What you give through him is for the whole sonship, not for part of it. Leave him his function, for he will fulfill it if you but ask him to enter your relationships and bless them for you. And that is the end of section one, True Empathy.